We've got district volleyball highlights for you tonight. We were all over Central Mass getting these games. We're going to get right to the action and take you out to the brand new gymnasium at Whitensville Christian. Asimut taking on the Crusaders. First game, Whitensville Christian and Asimut going back and forth. Amaya Van Dyke with the spike in the point. 13-7 Crusaders. Whitensville Christian with the serve. Rachel Raymond. Good dig. The return is out. There it is. And so the Aztecs are down 21 to 8. Aztecs serving. Whitensville Christians. Hope Brookhouse sets Emily Schneider. Schneider with the spike in the point. 24 to 10 Crusaders. The Libero with the dig. Brookhouse setting Christina Ledoux. The spike in the point. Whitensville Christian wins game 125 to 10. Game two, Asimuts, Victoria Ford. With a huge block at the net. Great play. one nothing Asimut in front. Then it's Abby Upham serving. Gets the ace. Whitensville Christian gets the win. Three games to none. Beautiful gym, by the way. Milbury and Marion, Division Three Girls Volleyball Districts. Milbury won game one, so this is game two. Milbury setting Samantha Brady. The spike and the point. The Woolies are up 9-7. Brady then. The jump serve. Unreturnable. 16 to 12, Milbury. Woolies, great teamwork. Brady setting Morgan Cronin. Good finish. 22-21, Milbury in front to Libero. Stacia Morgan Kamiak. Great dig. Morgan Noel sets Madison Plant. They send it over. The return is out. Milbury up 25-24. Game point. Plant sends it over. Marion returns. The Libero. Morgan Kamiak bumps. Noel sets Lauren Kelly with the spike. Milbury wins game two, 26-24. Game three. Milbury, Sydney Moore setting Plant. She powers it through the block for the point. Milbury wins three games to none. Shepherd Hill and Wellesley in Division I girls volleyball districts. First game, 12-4 Shepherd Hill. Molly Springer setting Ingrid Lindstrom for the spike in the point. 13-4 the Hill in front. Kylie Wong Lee now serving. Wellesley setting it up. And Springer with a big block for the point. 16 to 8, Shepherd Hill in front. Game point. Wellesley setting it up. The spike is long. Shepherd Hill wins game one, 25 to 14. The Hill loves it. The crowd loving it as well. They're dancing in the aisles. Game two. Game point. Wellesley sending it over. Shepherd Hill sets it up. The spike's into the net. Wellesley wins 25-13. Game three now. Lindstrom to Kaylee Fagan. Back to Lindstrom. The spike in the point. The Hill up by one. Haley Delphia with the ace. The Hill up two, but Wellesley wins it three games to two in a great match. Well, the Nichols football team has their final home game of the season this Saturday. The Bison taking on Endicott. It's been an up and down year for the Greens, so they're hoping to finish out their final home game with a win. You got to play as mistake free as we possibly can. You know, mistakes I think have killed us all season. You know, we're a good football team. We have a lot of talent, but if we don't execute, you know, it won't go as well. I mean, Endicott always gives us a good fight. I mean, we always go hard against them. Uh, it's always a good game, but they're a really good football team. I mean, it just comes down to doing your job and practice, uh, lifting every day, and I mean, just showing up on game day and just doing your job. Saturday will be senior day. Head coach Dale Olmstead says this day has a special feel as it's the first group of players he brought in. You know, in the end, honestly, this weekend, I'm kind of most in, uh, focused on my seniors. Their last home game is the first group we brought in. Um, you know, I'm very proud of that group. You know, we really look forward, you know, to a, to a great football game and, um, you know, a great ending to, to, to some of these seniors this year. The Bison take on Endicott Saturday at noon, and you can catch the action on tape delay at Charter TV 3 Saturday night, 7 p.m. The Assumption football team outscored opponents 164 to 16 in the month of October. It's an eye-opening stat, but not something they dwell on as it's a new season this week and it's all about AIC and focusing you know, on the Yellow Jackets. Play offense is really what they are. They've had a little bit of trouble running the ball and, and moving it down the field progressively. It's one of those things that they just are going to take some shots and they got good guys on the outside that they could throw it up to. We got to win in, in, in that capacity. We can't allow the big play. Offensively, we need to put drives together, keep their offense off the field, and then special teams just has to continue to do what it's doing. 
Assumption ranked 10th in the country, taking on AIC this weekend. Holy Cross on the road this Saturday at Fordham. The Crusaders coming off a win over Georgetown. They're focused on finishing in the red zone with touchdowns and having a great week of practice to be ready for the Rams. See how they look, get our game plan set. And ultimately what it comes down to is having a good week of practice. We practice hard all week. We should be ready to play on Saturday. You know, just keep it going. There's uh, things, you know, obviously this game that we wanted to fix. You know, we we're able to make a lot of field goals. I think it was three. Uh, but we like to come away with touchdowns in those situations. So just being consistent and uh, scoring in the red zone. So, Holy Cross taking on Fordham on the road on Saturday. So a lot of college football locally this weekend. And then right now, it's all about the districts in, in volleyball. Some great matches tonight. Absolutely. Those girls got ups. Yeah, they certainly do. They play very well as a team, too, all of them. Good stuff. Well, that's going to do it for us here on Worcester News tonight. For Kevin Shea, I'm Anna Botari. We'll see you tomorrow.